Hello my friends all over the world wherever you are William Poloniak here again from Whole Health Foundation and in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the small o-ring in the top of the reservoir if you have a leak here. So the first thing you're going to do with the ratchet wrench or any kind of wrench you can get is remove the six bolts on top of the run and take the six bolts out as I'm doing here I set those aside now it's a good idea to wrap some towels either paper towels or old rags around the top just in case you get a little bit of spillage so let's do that briefly you do not need to take the sheet metal off. I'm showing you without the sheet metal taken off. But you can take the sheet metal off if you wish. So, we have the top loosened and with your thumb you push on the piston as you wiggle the top out. And there we have it out. And I'm going to take this out. And I notice we have one o-ring here. We need to take that off and put it back in here. Now I'm going to use a safety pin instead of a dental pick. Usually I use a dental pick. But what you do is you get your pick in there and you pick out the old o-ring that's leaking. Take the new one and it's a good idea to put some oil around the o-ring. You'll have some on the top here so you want to put some oil in. And then put it back in the top in the groove of the top. Can you get a close-up of that to see what's going on? So there's the new o-ring and oil it. Now let's get a piece of paper towel and mop up that little bit of spillage on the top. Now I see this cloth is in the way and since the spillage has already happened I'm going to take this out of here. Okay, let's clean up that oil make it as clean as we can. might want to do a better job than I'm doing here but it looks like it's pretty easy to keep clean. Now this part at the back that has the guide post hole you want to have facing the back and what you do is this inner ring you're going to fit around the top of the piston chamber. So can you go down here and see from down here? And you're going to fit it in that round groove and then with your finger try to get the piston and guide it into the center and then push down. There you go. Now I have a piece of wood that I have here that I put in to help minimize the amount of pressure I need to put down. And then you replace the six bolts. It looks like I don't need that. Sometimes the spring is so strong the top will pop up so you need a piece of wood about four and three quarter inches long. So rather than take more time showing you that I'm just screwing these in, we're not going to do that. And that's basically all there is. Your last step of course is to tighten all these by hand and then with a ratchet wrench, tighten them by hand, equally tight all the way around. You do not need to over tighten it because if you do you'll strip the bolts in the aluminum top. So there you have it my friends. I hope you like what you've seen. I hope you find this helpful. And if you'd like to contact me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust.cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com and I hope that you find Hold Health using your Norwalk juicer. See you in the next video.